When using electronics like smartphones, drones, or robots, do you ever wonder where these products are made? If you take a closer look, you will see that they are made in Shenzhen, China. In this video, we will find out how a small fishing village was transformed into a hardware paradise. It's not only China's domestic companies that come to Shenzhen, but more and more foreign companies and innovators from around the world have flocked to Shenzhen for their hardware products, innovation, and production. We've got talented people that are in, in here in the city doing things. Every company, I would say DJI, uh, I would say Ofo, Mobike, and all of those, they have people that design everything through a process. It's all about process. The, the Chinese industrial designer, the Chinese factory that are doing things, they're not just factories anymore. 10, 20% of those factory that have studios where they have industrial designers, people that over the, the last decade perfect the art of working. If you take everything that is being produced today, it's not just being designed outside of China anymore. I think 80% of the work is being done in, in Shenzhen, it's been done inside the country. And then 20% of the work represents taking that product out of the country. That's, that's the main challenge at the moment. So we have very talented designers that are, that are out there in the ecosystem. There are five fundamentals that are forming Shenzhen into its current huge success. With nearly 40 years of development, from simple hard labor manufacturing, Shenzhen has developed a full ecosystem of product development. Within a one hour driving radius, you can find everything you need to build a product, especially in the electronics and hardware supply hub. From industrial design to electronic solutions, from tooling to massive production and assembly, Unlike other places where innovators need to drive from city to city, or even fly from country to country, here in Shenzhen all you need is a few phone calls and a taxi, and you can get everything you need in a matter of days. The government plays an important role in the formation of this ecosystem. The government's role is not to interfere or direct involvement in the ecosystem, but to offer policy, guidance, and incentives for those who excel in certain areas, so that companies or talents feel welcomed and will be confident to grow their business and perform their best. The business ecosystem is not limited to production, and so companies and innovators both produce and sell their products here in Shenzhen, growing their business rapidly. Hi, uh, we're here in Shenzhen. My name is Yannick. I'm the CTO of a company called Spot Sensors. We have started using uh, a design company in Shenzhen for our industrial design. Uh, the whole process of product development is much accelerated because you are in the space where the majority of especially electronics products in the world are manufactured and more and more also the place where they're being designed. And the reason is because if you are where things are being manufactured, you, you know how things need to be designed in order to be manufactured, which is often a big disconnect if you're talking to an industrial designer in Europe, especially someone who hasn't had a lot of experience in getting products manufactured, then they will come up with something that later on someone else has to then translate into something that can be manufactured. Whereas when you're dealing with a design company in China, they know what needs to be done in order to turn something into a product that can be manufactured. So the whole process is accelerated multiple times over. Everything must be integrated, product development and sales, logistics and export. Shenzhen definitely is not only relying on just manufacturing, one of the greatest powerhouses of Shenzhen is international trading and cross-border e-commerce. The sellers on leading online shopping platforms are mostly from Shenzhen. With great product supply and strong sales channels, products can consistently flow to other places and countries. This provides positive feedback for those manufacturers at the back end, and in the long run, the whole ecosystem. There is a slogan that almost every Shenzhen resident knows. Once you come here, you are a Shenzhen. Among all the big cities in China, Shenzhen is one of the most friendly to young people. It's not just the culture of openness and fair play. 
The government also provides subsidies to those with a bachelor's degree, allowing young people to establish themselves in Shenzhen right from the beginning. People here in Shenzhen have this incredible work ethic and what the place lacks in geographical positioning for a European market, it makes up in sheer infrastructure to get that product designed, built and on a ship. There's so much more resource, there's so much more thought that goes into the technology. Everyone here is, the mindset is totally different from where I come from. People are so helpful, people are so patient, people understand the technology so well. Shenzhen, it makes it possible. This really is a city of opportunity. I know this is like going to be a second home for me. Shenzhen is one of the most resourceful places, I would say, in the world. First of all, because all the suppliers that you want to find, furniture supplier, be it material supplier, uh, you can find them in Shenzhen or around Shenzhen. In terms of finding clients, because it's a very fast growing city, so there are many new businesses opening up every day. For us designers, I think it's just amazing to be here because everybody can get a project. It's just happening. It's happening here. I think China is an amazing place with a great opportunity for industrial designers. I came to Shenzhen because it is the hub of technology. I think that the thing is about this place is you've got manufacturing at your doorstep, great designers, and uh, everything happens here very quickly. For us to design and, and build something in Australia is a little bit slow. You come here, you can do it quickly. So great production, um, great quality, and, and the outcome's good. Every year, there are tens of thousands of young graduates with science and engineering or marketing backgrounds who come to Shenzhen to pursue their own dreams and to help others fulfill theirs. Like these young people full of energy and dreams, Shenzhen is full of great power and uniqueness with its pioneering and down-to-earth spirit. Unlike other places where people only talk about empty dreams, Shenzheners are very practical and move very fast. This is a place where a wasteland can be built into a central business district within four years and where you can have a world-leading product built within three months. Shenzhen is one of the only places you can buy any kind of component off the shelf and have a working prototype within three months. It's an unbelievable pace of life here. Because Shenzhen is like a new city and it's growing really fast, there's constantly a stream of young people coming to the city to uh, make money. I kind of feel like it's like the next Silicon Valley of hardware because um, first, you know, when I came here, it was just manufacturing, and then I started to see some prototyping and innovation, and now it's not just prototyping, but there's like all kinds of organizations where people come and talk about ideas, and there's a lot of venture capital, and it's just sort of got that feeling of like people networking and uh, idea exchange. So I really do feel like it's like the next Silicon Valley of hardware. When making hardware products, Shenzheners aim big, but start small by doing what can be done right away. From the combined efforts of multiple generations, Shenzhen has earned its reputation as a capital of hardware, product innovation, and manufacturing, and has now begun to garner more attention and interest around the world. With more people, more government assistance, and more foreign talent, we can foresee that Shenzhen will continue to become more powerful and to move forward to develop more technology and worldwide brands. As one of the first Chinese cities to open to the outside, Shenzhen now keeps its doors wide open to the entire world. Welcome to China. Welcome to Shenzhen, the paradise of hardware innovation.